Alright guys, it's Prepaid Skater, and today what I'm going to show y'all is very similar to the um, tutorial that I just did on fonts, and I actually just finished that, and I just rendered it a few seconds ago. So anyway, this is how to get Photoshop brushes, and I don't actually have my Photoshop icon available right now, but anyway, getting Photoshop brushes is just like getting fonts, but I, I wouldn't consider it complicated more complicated it's just done in a different way so what I do is I google Photoshop brushes and then after the page loads I go to the top one for me is brush king and I think it's automatically the top one it's by far my favorite one and just let the page load it takes a little while for me because HughesNet is my internet and it's gay and then for time's sake I'll just download the first one and you actually don't even have to click in it it automatically pops this up and you just hit download and again you need WinRAR I'll post that in the description and with uh, with this video being just like my fonts video I'll probably just upload these at the same time so anyway I saved it to my desktop and as you see it's here in WinRAR again and then I'll right click a new folder since this probably isn't going to be my only time downloading brushes and I will name it brushes so I'll put it right there and then you want to open that up and then highlight that and close out that Highlight this and then extract to and then brushes and then hit OK. And then it should pop that up. And then to load a font, for me, it's for how I know how to do it, it's different. I think it's different, but anyway, let me go into my computer and get not control panel, I meant computer. Computer, local disk, program files. Adobe Photoshop this is what you get for using your mom's computer and she deletes all your icons off your desktop create shortcut and yes and then anyway just want to open up Photoshop after all that and then let it load And then this works just while it's loading. This works on any Photoshop, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. It's just like After Effects templates. You just basically just load it and it works just fine. So, after Adobe Photoshop loads finally, which is actually, there's a quicker way to upload. I mean, ah, not upload. Run that. Open the application, I guess you'd call it. But anyway, I'll say that later. You want to just create a new um, layer, new composition, and then let it load. And then you want to make sure brushes are highlighted. You want to make it to where you can select your brush. And then where you see this arrow that's pointing right, you want to click on it and then click load brushes. And then you want to go to your desktop, go to brushes and then you just want to open up the one that you just downloaded by just double clicking it and then it works just fine and now as you'll see there you go actually I already think I've downloaded this but oh well and there you go works just fine and you'll find some pretty neat ones and that you can create cool backgrounds with I've made a bunch of my backgrounds through this and I think they're all pretty cool I've actually made a couple of like default rock, ah, operating system backgrounds through After Effects brushes I mean not After Effects but Photoshop brushes but anyway so yeah that's how you get Photoshop brushes it's just like getting fonts but you just have to load them up a different way so yeah thanks for watching and subscribe and also this was pretty good timing just now getting to one o'clock so yeah, thanks and subscribe.